floating vegetation. That's the name of the game. All this may look like it's solid land, but it is nothing but water underneath. Floating around, changing day by day, but providing incredible cover for giant largemouth bass. I want that one. Well, here we are, beautiful Rodman Reservoir. We've had some pretty decent luck, but we haven't quite figured it out. But we armed ourselves with a whole bunch of knowledge from YouTube. North Florida Angler, I've been watching your videos, my friend, but I also read a ton of articles, and I believe what I've been doing wrong is I've actually been waiting way too long and not really enough slack and so on and so forth. So I got a little bit more knowledge this time. The name of the game out here today it's Ted's birthday tomorrow. <laughs> this is the last day of this year of his life. I'm not gonna embarrass him and tell everybody how old he is. <laughs> he actually set your personal best this year, recorded best. This is the last possible day to break it. And this is definitely the place to do it. So we got a couple dozen more Shiner. We're back at it. We'll try to really figure out this place, but well, you got a run already? Oh. And there it goes. Bobber just went under. Is that run? Go run. See if we can get this guy. Nope. <laughs> definitely not. Damn it. I definitely screwed that one up, guys. So far. Pass one. Mikey, zero. My bobber just started popping up and down real fast. There's usually a bass in stalking mode. Something really scared the crap out of that shiner though. <laughs> I'm over there talking to Ted. And I look back, my bobber is gone, gone, gone. Straight down too, so that's usually a good sign. There you go. Got him. Oh no, I think he just let go. Yep. I felt him though, I definitely felt the radar and he got my shiner. Damn it. I thought he ran straight out, he ran right next to the bush again. Into the bush. So I'm giving you a sign any more Canadian than that. Straight back into the bush, eh? Well, I'm up for moving yeah. over there. What about this little patch out in the middle here too? I don't see why they wouldn't be there. It's right off of this big deep hole here too. Oh for two. Fast two. Icky. Zero. Get away from, oh, 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 oh. I don't know what it is, but there's something, something on him. Oh, oh. To get him, I gotta have real trouble because he's around these lily pads. Oh, just went, there it goes. Oh, uh, he's yeah. This is a bowfin. It's a bowfin. You got it. So. <laughs> uh. Yeah, bowfin. Oh no, it's a bass. It's just a little guy. <laughs> hey, we got one. He's a healthy guy too. Look at, see how fast I set that hook and he's already swallowed it. There we go. Chunky little dude though. There we go. Nice. Thank you little dude. Gotta start somewhere. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, something chasing him. So something chasing him. Get him smashed. Oh, and he just got hit. He just got taken. That looked like a little bass. You get it? Oh, he got it. No, he didn't. Oh, he's still there? Yeah, that was weird. Yeah. It wasn't big, whatever it was. No, so. it wasn't big. I think I saw it. I think it was a bass. I just don't think it was very big. Oh, it's gone now. Yeah. Oh, got it. Got him? Yeah. It's not tiny. Oh, that's a better bass. Best one of the day. 
my first one of the day. This is not the same one that hit at it. No. Oh, he's he's bulldogging me. A couple pounds. Oh, he's nice. He's nice. That's a real bass. That's a definitely a real bass. Ha <laughs> hook. Good hooks that too. Perfect. Yeah, about two and a half. Mm -hmm. Well, they're around. We just need to get one four times that Yeah, time. go tell your mama. Go tell your great grandma. Did you see the one where the guy hooked him upside down? Point through the top of the nose. Hooked him upside down. Like that. That's what I just did with that last one. But I think he was using circle hooks, not kale hooks. Oh, must have. Did you go under? You got him? Yeah. Big, whatever it is. Bigger than the last one, at least. Oh, I felt a head shake. He's trying to come up. Where is it? Where is it? I think it's a good bass, man. I think it's a bass. I think it is too. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It's a little bigger. Yeah, it is definitely. That's a four, if not more. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. It's, wow, there's a beauty. That's uh, more than a four. <laughs> we'll weigh him. Oh, yeah. This is a stud. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're coming out here for. Look how well hooked he is. That circle hook, man. That's the key. I think I'm going to put those on, too. There's no more messing around. That. That's the stud. Look at that belly. Belly, 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 belly. Free spawn, man. Yeah, definitely. That's, that's, that's a good five pounds. 413 just down. shy of five nice i was just about to suggest we might maybe move i think we should stay a little longer yeah i think so <laughs> they're getting bigger yeah <laughs> well after dead got that beautiful four pound 13 ounce just shy of five and the second fish in a row with no problem on issues at all on a circle hook i've switched up i tied on a nice big circle hook now too Oh, I just went underneath. All right, guys, we got to run. Bobber went under that mat real fast. Here we go. Got it? I think so. Yep. Yep. We got some weight. Oh, no. Did it just pop out? I think I just lost him. I felt it pull. Oh, God. That was definitely a bass. He's still swimming a little bit. Oh, 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 there it goes again. My bobber just went under again. He's running pretty good with it. All right. Oh, wow, he's flying with it. Oh, yeah, that's got some... Come on, I must have him. It's definitely wrapped up around some stuff. Oh, I can feel the head shaking. I can see the rod moving. There he comes. You're out of it. Got him, he's out. Oh, he feels decent. There he is. Nice bass. He's not. He's not huge like yours. Good three, three and a half. Yeah. Oh, perfectly hooked too. Here, get him here. Woo! <laughs> Another beauty chunk here. There it is. Woo! That's the biggest one I got today. I think we can do a bit, a bit better yet, though. I think so too. But... There you go. Awesome. There it is. Sweet. Let's say about three and a half. Yeah. At least three. Something. Yeah. I don't. I don't know if she's over four or not, but awesome. That took off like banshee. Straight under the water though. Uh oh. Where is it? Right. It's going straight for the. Got him. This is a bass. It is. A nice bass. Actually. Yeah, it's a good one. <laughs> Look at that circle hook right in the corner of the mouth again. He's, this is Not the fattest one yet. Is. This is the fattest one yet. <laughs> you <laughs> pig. <laughs> oh my god, it's heavy yeah. actually. Look at that guys. That was a bass. <laughs> that is a pig. Like, that is the fattest bass 
I've caught in a long time. This should only be a three pound bass. Yeah. I bet you it's over four. God, she's fat. She goes. Yeah, three, five. Three, and five. It's like 18 inches long. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is pre-spawn, baby. Right there, 100% pre-spawn. Beautiful, so fat. All right, let's let this beautiful girl go. get them yeah it's fast they're here nice didn't take long no. a couple minutes he's a chunker oh yeah he's not bad at all nice another three pounder mm -hmm. we got at least a three pound average today nice little fat so Got him? Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. I don't know if he's better than the last one, but he didn't want to turn around. Oh, yeah. Probably getting close to four again. Barely, but good. Yeah. Woo! There it is. Oh, nice. He's four. Yeah. We haven't got the giants, but we got some nice fish today. If we put top five, we got to be got to be pretty close to twenty pounds. We both grew up watching China fishing on this lake, and That's we're right. probably we're doing it. And we dreamed of coming out here since I was a kid to do this. People pay a ton of money. This is a, a trophy thing for, you know, a bucket list to do. Shiner fishing in Florida? On Rodman? On Rodman Reservoir? Unbelievable. Rodman? I think we've been here 15 minutes, maybe. Yeah. You caught two. I've lost two. Oh, well, you just went under. I saw it. Got it. Good. Oh, you got him. You, you do have him. He was just wrapped around that tree. He's good. Yeah, now they're about the same. Is that the same size again? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe a little bigger. Yeah, that's bigger. That's bigger. That's, that's five. Ah. Ah, no, he's not as heavy as that. No. He's been hooked before, though. Beautiful fish, though. So, ah. I'll still weigh him. Four pounds. Hey, look, we're up again there. Almost. Beautiful fish, though. We've got some really nice fish today. Whew. Living in the yeah. bass lair. Right. Oh, I just got crushed. Running with it. Oh, running fast with it. Got him. Got him. Got him. Yep, I feel them. Uh, I think so. Uh, he's under all that stuff. Look at him move with that mat. He's pulling drag too. Oh, dude, he's out and he's pulling drag. I think we got a decent one, guys. Oh, yeah, he feels good. Oh, yeah, this is... Heavier than anything I had so far today. He hasn't even come up yet. Oh, bud, where is he? There he is. Want the net? Oh, baby! <laughs> no, I, I got him. Just get him. Oh, he's a pig. He's a pig, Ted. <laughs> oh, he's a freaking giant! <gasps> Mamma mia! <laughs> oh god! Yes! Oh, that's a giant! Dude, that is a giant! Oh, guys, we've definitely got one over five! Holy 
Holy crap! What is this? That's a big one. Right in the court, right in the top of that lip. He wasn't going anywhere. But, uh, reverse hooked, right? Yeah, I, I did that your reverse hook trick. This is a big one. Guys, this thing is just I'm gonna guess seven. Oh, my arm's actually getting tired. Alright, let's get a quick wait now. I'm gonna put her in the in the live well for a little bit. To uh hold on, hold on, hold on. so we can take a bunch of pictures. Six, ten, six, nine. Six nine. Six nine. Woohoo! A six, up. six and a half. <laughs> yes! By far my biggest bass of the year. <laughs> yeah! Woohoo, guys! That was just so awesome. I'm really glad you watched that YouTube video of how to keep, put the hook upside down. All right, we're going to pull this bad boy out, take a few pictures He's, now that he had a chance to rest a bit. And let her go right where we got her because it is pre spawn. She's probably right in here for this area because this is where she's going to make those billions of babies. More baby bass. Wow. What a fish, guys. What a fish. The big old bucket mouth on her. Whoa. Sorry, girlfriend. Let's get you in the water here. What a beautiful fish. There she goes. Whoo! Awesome. Well, as you guys can see, that sun's headed down. That's gonna have to be it, but what a day. Absolutely incredible day out here. We have to have somewhere around a four pound average. At least seven eight three pound four pound fish topped off with that big six pound nine ouncer yeah that's right yeah you had that what four pounds 13 ounces like i mean that's a five pounder just about anywhere you go what an incredible day we had to have caught at least 20 fish easily our our average is going to be somewhere around four pounds that is insane there is no fishery like rodman reservoir if this is any indication of how this year is going to go, oh my God, we are in for a wild ride, guys. No matter what you say, live bait fishing with, with these wild shiners is not an easy way to do it. It's not a cheater's way to do it. And if you feel that way, you honestly never tried yourself. Get out here, you're gonna be just as frustrated as we are. I lost a giant. And that's just the way it is. You often lose a lot more than you win live bait shiner fishing. There's no doubt there is not many better ways to target these giant trophy bass here in Florida. Guys, I really hope you like this and I hope you learned a little something. If you did, make sure you smash the heck out of that like button and leave a comment for us on anything else you'd like to see me film. I'll do my very best to make a video out of each and every one of those. But most importantly, subscribe to that channel. And if you already subscribed, well stay subscribed because there's plenty more coming in Sawgrass Bass's future. One last time guys from Rodman Reservoir smashing giant largemouth on giant live bait. I'm Captain Mikey signing out. The future is bright. You keep those lines tight. I think that